It's not gonna work, Ollie. What do you wanna do? I guess it's uh, time for plan B. What's up guys, my name's Will. I don't know if you can tell, my voice is kind of stuffy and I'm feeling pretty sick. My diet isn't great, but it isn't terrible. I'd say it's 50% coffee, 30% donuts, and 20% protein. I go to the gym four days a week, mainly to combat my massive appetite and stupid food challenges. But lately I've been feeling pretty blah. So as soon as I got home, I searched best juice cleanses in Toronto and within minutes I placed my order for a 48 hour juice cleanse and went for pickup. Which leads me to today, day number one. Am I worried? Uh, slightly. Wish me luck. All right guys, so here is the pre-juice cleanse physique. So 180.6 pounds. Um, I really have no idea what I'm gonna weigh by the end of this, but we will see. So I'm gonna head downstairs and get to juice number one. So let's get this show on the road, guys. I went to a place called Revitasize. They have a bunch of locations across the GTA. Um, obviously, they do juice cleanses. They also do acai bowls, power balls, wraps, salads, a bunch of other good stuff that I could not have. But for the juice cleanse, I have six juices per day. All have to be drinking in a specific order at specific times. They are nice enough to label the top of them for me, as well as give me a nice little agenda. So it is completely will approved. Um, between each drink, I can drink as much water as I possibly want. Just no goddamn coffee. I just feel like I need a reset, you know? Like, you know when you play like Nintendo 64 games and it stops working? You gotta take the game out, give it a blow, and you put it back in and it's good as new. I feel like I just need a good blow. So it is 9.30 now, I woke up half an hour ago. They recommend you wait half an hour after waking up. So let's just dive right into the first drink, which is called Sun Power, right here. And the ingredients are pomegranate, apple, pineapple, orange, and cucumber. This just sounds like a drink I would have on a hot day, but it is minus six degrees in Canada. Shake. It smells good. Mmm. This juice just runs rum in it so bad. No joke, I'd probably have this every single day. Really good. So that was one juice down. I'm very impressed. We have 11 more to go, so this should be an interesting couple of days. It is 12.30 now, and they recommend that you wait two to three hours between each drink. So now it is time for drink number two, and I'm having the green drink, which I am kind of the most scared about. Even the girl who was helping me was like, just be weary about the dark green drinks. So this one is called Feeling Green. I'm not feeling green, but I better get in the mood quick. Uh, the ingredients are dandelion, collard greens, kale, Swiss chard, spinach, lemon, parsley, pear, celery, and cucumber. I mean, that just sounds like the making of a bad salad. So I don't really know how to form an opinion on this drink. Like as it goes into my mouth, it's pretty good. But then as I get the aftertaste, it just reminds me of like Everglades water. I don't know. The thing is, it's not bad enough that I have to force this down. It's just that I don't want to drink this anymore. This is pretty much how I feel right now. <clears throat> okay, well that was probably the first time ever I've gone over the required amount of time to consume something. So that was definitely a first. Um, it's becoming increasingly clear to me I'm gonna be miserable by tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna do some more computer work right now and then I'll catch up with you guys in a couple hours for my walk. I'm tired of juices, I need coffee. How many peas is too many? And I haven't pooed yet, which I'm slightly worried about. As you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff going through my mind right now. Just on the way back from Starbucks, as you guys know, I usually walk to Starbucks every single day to get my 10,000 steps in. But today instead I just went and touched the door and then turned around, pretty sad I know. But it is 3.30 now, which means it's time for drink number three, which is also the metabolizer booster. It's designed to spice things up whatever the hell that means, so let's try it. So I actually brought this one on the walk with me because I knew I was probably gonna get hangry in the walk, which I sure did, but this one specifically intrigued me the most. I feel like if I just took a sip of this, like by the color, I'm just gonna like end up in the movie Space Jam, or it's gonna taste like a DIY cleaner ointment type of thing. So this one is called Blue Magic, and then the ingredients are Blue Magic, but the magic is with a K. I mean, I don't know what that is. Sounds like a SoundCloud wrapper. Pineapple, ginger, and lemon. So let's see, hopefully this does not let me down. I have high expectations of this one. Ooh. This is definitely the number one of the day so far. So 
So I'm gonna continue my walk now, blue magic, whatever it is. I dig it, this is definitely some redemption from drink number two. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I am developing quite the nice headache right now and I have pretty low energy. I actually just pooed quite a lot smaller than normal, but hey, it happened, so good news. Um, so between uh, drinks three and four, we're supposed to take the booster shot and then water. I mean, this looks like the most like satisfying looking water I have ever seen in my life. Like, I don't even feel worthy to open it. It looks just incredible. And then this is just like black, not even labeled with like anything on it. So I'm slightly worried, but I'm gonna trust them that I'm not gonna die. I feel like I might take a, a shot and turn into a reptile, but we will see live on camera. Ooh, I got some manure vibes right there. So hopefully that booster shot's gonna give me some more life right now. I was supposed to go to the gym today, but I don't think it would probably be the best idea. So I'm probably gonna try to go tomorrow, which probably is even a worse idea. But uh, I'm gonna go sit down and uh, we'll see you guys at dinner. All right, so dinner has arrived and this is like not even funny anymore. The thought of food is just making me angry. Um, and it just kind of kicked in, I'm not eating tomorrow as well. But dinner is served and it is a beet drink. Drink number four, and it says right here, dinner has arrived. Uh, most often we will provide a Rudy juice for dinner. More dense, more filling, simulating the dinner experience. Like I don't know how this is gonna simulate my dinner experience. So in this drink, we got beetroot, obviously kale, parsley, spinach, apple, carrot, lemon, cucumber, and ginger. I mean, this all sounds pretty good to me. I actually love beets, so I know most people don't. I want to like it. It's really good. I'm just sick of juice. Sick of juice. Okay. Five down. One more to go. So for the last one, they want you to have it 30 to 45 minutes before bed. Uh, so I'm probably just going to go lie down because that's all I really want to do right now. But I'll see you guys at the last drink. So I've been trying to hold off drinking this damn juice for so long right now, but I just, I can't do it anymore. So it's 9.30, so it looks like I'm going to bed at 10. I would honestly kill a man for a slice of pizza right now. Um, I can't get any work done. It's just, it's impossible to do anything, start any new sort of project, because I'm just, no energy. I don't even know what I'm cleansing at this point anymore. It feels more spiritual than physical. Uh, so this one is called the Reliever. It's the drink number six of the day, last one. Um, this one's the highest calorie one. So it's 73 and a half calories per serving and there's two servings in the bottle. So I'm pretty sure I was just over 500 calories for the entire day. So quite the modest deficit. Oh, this one's good. I'm just trying to ignore the fact that it looks like someone looted at the bottom of my drink. But overall, this one is really good. So just that second one today was like literally a joke. Like that was like torture. I'd rather eat. I'm not even gonna say it on YouTube. Gotta savor every last drop. So day one is complete, all juices are done. Um, I'm genuinely surprised how much this one filled me up. I guess my stomach is shrinking already. So I'm gonna head up to my room right now, try to lie in my bed and fall asleep somehow. Uh, don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, if I fall asleep, I'm probably most likely gonna have a wet dream about honestly any sort of food. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous because um, day two is gonna be a lot worse, isn't it? Good morning, guys. So it is day number two, and surprisingly, I slept really, really well. I can't even remember the last time I slept nine hours under any circumstance. So I guess that just goes to show how much living on juice takes the life out of you. Um, I'm surprised I don't have any caffeine headaches. I thought I was gonna be dying from headaches, but I'm all good. I guess the only thing I am feeling is just a little bit weak today, which is probably to be expected. Um, I feel like I have lost some weight, and I've only pooed that one time yesterday at three o'clock. So hopefully there is one or more on the horizon today. So overall, not so bad. I have, I'm very hopeful today. Maybe today is gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna go down and get juice number one of the day, which I'm the most excited about out of all juices and you'll see why shortly. So it is 10.10, time for juice number one of the day. Um, I'm really excited about this one. Why? Because it is called Coffee Cashew. Coffee is in the name. So this is like the only one out of the entire juice cleanse that's not just like juice. This one's like a kind of like a milkshake and it looks extra appealing. I don't know if it's just me, but drinks in glass containers just seem extra appealing, like even like a Coke or a Diet Coke when you get in the glass bottle, you're just like, yeah. So I'm very hopeful for this one. I, it just looks like a milkshake. It's taking me back to the old days when they would deliver milk at your front door. So I'm gonna give this a rigorous shake. 
Wow, that actually just tired me out. I feel like this can't taste as good as I possibly think it's gonna taste. Exactly what it sounds like, coffee cashew. Very like coffee flavor, which I thought it wasn't gonna be as much coffee because I thought because it's the cleanse, they don't want you to have as much coffee, but very coffee y. So I'm gonna savor this one so much and then I'll see you guys at the next drink. I don't know what's going on, but I feel fantastic. Headache is gone, full of energy, so either the juice is working or I'm about to imminently drop on the floor and die, so probably one of those two. Um, you know how earlier I just said I only pooed that one time yesterday at three o'clock? Well, it seemed like my body was just hoarding it all and was just like, let's blitz this kid all at once, which is pretty much what happened. I'll leave it at that, just in case you guys are eating while you're watching me. Um, so I'm on to drink number two, which is the green juice, and it's actually growing on me, so this probably means this shit needs to end right now. So. While I'm feeling good, I'm probably gonna go hit the gym and I'll see you guys there. So the workout is complete, went really, really well. I mean, despite the fact I pretty much had to superset every exercise with a washroom break, but we are having juice number three, the metabolizer booster to spice things up. So this is called the burdock splash. And in it, we have burdock root, apple, turmeric, ginger, lemon, and cayenne. It pretty much just tastes like an adultified orange juice. This is just screaming for tequila as well. So I feel like me at the gym today, like I easily could have gone in with a bad mindset thinking like I haven't eaten for a day and a half and I was going to be weak. But I mean, if you have that mentality, it's going to affect your workout. I mean, a lot of times we're going to have to work out in suboptimal conditions. You might be underfed, you might be dehydrated, you might have a lack of sleep. But if you go into the gym with that mindset, it's going to play with your mind and you're going to have a horrible workout. So go into the gym thinking you're going to have a good workout and your body's capable of so many things. It is all about a positive mindset, guys. This is like Yom Kippur, but worse. My head is ringing. I'm starting to get angry for no reason at all. Like this cleanse may end violently. My large ass nostrils are starting to pick up sense of food where there's absolutely no food around. So I'm starting to believe that there's a donut scented candle that is just following me everywhere I go. I'm yawning every three minutes, even though I had a wonderful nine hours of sleep. So there's that. That's how I feel right now. So about an hour ago, I took my booster shot, which was quite harsh on the esophagus to say the least, um, which I then followed up with the holy water but uh in other news the good news to my delight we have another liquefied salad which is the second last drink of the cleanse it is called mother nature it has beetroot cabbage celery swiss chard carrots and lemon Okay, so we are at the final stretch now, and I know it's only been two days, but this has felt like an eternity, so apologies for my little dramatic episode earlier. My emotions have just been going like that uh, the past couple of days. So I think like a lot of you guys must be wondering, Will, why the hell are you doing a juice cleanse? What are the benefits of a juice cleanse? Valid question in this type of video, and I honestly had no idea, so I had to Google it. And number one was hydration. When you're drinking lots of juice and then water between the juice, you're really hydrating your body. Two was it really helps your digestive system. It can reset your gut. And then three was it helps reduce inflammation in your body. Um, so those are the three main ones I saw. And then of course, a lot of people do it for weight loss, which is another reason why I'm doing it because I have some food challenges coming up. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, so the last drink of the day slash of the whole entire cleanse is a green drink. <laughs> Sick. And it is called uh, Mean Green. I hope it's not mean to me, but um, here it is. Last and final one. Going to be going to bed in half an hour. It is around 10 o'clock. And this one has kale, spinach, celery, apple, and lemon. So let's just get this one down and go to bed. And I can't wait to funnel a nice black coffee tomorrow morning. Oh. There we go, so juice cleanse is done. Wow guys, this place kills it with the juice. I feel like I'm gonna be like forever, juice is ruined for me forever. Like I can't go back to that Minute Maid bullshit. So probably gonna be getting my juice from here from now on. Uh, so I'm gonna go to bed now wake up in the morning, show you guys my final weight physique update and my overall opinions on the whole thing. So it is the morning of day number three. I'm loving life right now. I am three coffees deep, just feeling fantastic. Surprisingly, I am not sick anymore, so I guess the juice did work. So would I recommend a juice cleanse? 
I actually would. I'd probably recommend the one to three day one. I feel like it's a probably a good thing to do. Maybe you're coming back from vacation, you drank a lot of alcohol, a bunch of shit food, or maybe you just feel like you need a reset like I did. I wouldn't recommend anything over that. Like those 10 day ones, I think is just a bit excessive. And if you're doing it solely for weight loss, just know the weight loss is not sustainable weight loss. You're not gonna keep off all of the weight that you lost on the juice cleanse, which leads me to my weigh-in this morning. So I stepped on the scale at 174.6 pounds, which is six pounds down flat. So I started off at 180.6 pounds to 174.6. Definitely do look a little bit leaner, obviously because I ate 500 to 550 calories for the entire day for two days. And there's just a lot less volume of actual food in my system. So. I'm probably gonna go to that place quite often. I actually never went before filming this video, but there is a lot of the locations around the GTA. So I'm definitely gonna hit it up and try some of the other juices and other stuff they have to offer. Um, so I highly recommend a juice cleanse, guys. Give it a shot. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.